Ekonene. Ekonene. Episode 76. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So 76 ni a special year kwa kwa. Yeah, it's the year I was born. Yeah. And it's uh, exactly maybe a hundred years after the Revolutionary War. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so special. Oh. Alafu pia tunajua nini? Ah uh, basi na ka Chris Mogo alikuwa anajua eh. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Chris Mogo. Eh cause he is sponsored na Chris Mogo akiwa Masai za Columbus Ohio. Oh H10. Ah, eh ama ukituuliza sio hapa Kenya. Ah Chris iko wapi? Ah iko kwa Ohio. Ohio. Eh so ni hii iko sponsored na Chris wa Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> eh tukianza na story za Kenya. Um So kwa story za Kenya ni DP uh, nini William Ruto mm. alibaki amekatia wasa wa Kongo mm. eh, kuzalia na Masai za Nyeri yeah. alafu of course Nyeri kuna like very many farmers yeah. especially wa ngombe dairy farming sio yeah. yeah. so akaanza kubonga juu ya vile uh, kuna billions of liters of milk zilizoweza export Mm. Afa kapatia na example akasema mm. kuna hii country inaitwa Kongo mm. kuna 90 million pe- uh, people mm. na hawana ngombe <laughs> so unajua hii watu wa kuimba hii <laughs> hey, wacha asiasikie hivyo tu <laughs> wame jam yeah. Kongo wame jam watu wame post map picha zao akiwa na ngombe okay, na ngombe si ndio yeah. afa unajua hapo alitaja kanda bongo man sijui nani nani so yeah. kushua kina But if Ali Pupa alikuwa na dance aka stop you go like hey mbona anacheza na watu batoto ya Kongo si ndio kina daliki moko daliki moko hivyo ni bala aka put down their guitars wako like what kind of bullshit is this yeah so waso Kongo alizusha kabisa mpaka nani DP akaenda pa me apologize unajua eh so unaona was that offensive because watu na Kongo alichukua iki offensive eh eh kama wako na ngombe na wako na maziwa useme hivyo it's a, it's a little offensive maybe not yeah. to the to the degree in which we we'll react but yeah. it's a bit offensive alafu pia hii watu ya kuimba hii hii watu wa kuimba hii yeah. yeah, because uh, hey, it can to music they've been representing lakini vile alisema yeah. i guess you pian daily but then let, let me shoot him some bail yeah of late like nimekuwa niki try ku record something for my other podcast yeah 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 Let me just tell you yeah. the moment you step in, in front of the microphone yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not easy yeah, <laughs> so yeah. ile kitu itatokea kwa kichwa ndio unasema so msa alikuwa hapo kikaumana alafu sasa yuko nyeri kuna ile euphoria yeah. ile eh yeah. 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 kuka ah. ku step kwa mic si rahisi so ah. yeah. yeah so yeah. alienda pa me apologize alafu na jesa hizi ile headache pia dp iko nayo Ah uh, ni Moses Kuri ashaanza kutembea na yeah. ile ile Raena kwa gamanga yeah. same ni ngumu so tayari shanza za ovyo mm. inasema that inasikia nini uh, UDA mm. imeshikana na parties zingine yeah. but since UDA ilisema haita collaborate with any parties yeah. any coalitions yeah. anashindwa sasa UDA iliendaje Uganda yeah. ikashikana na Ford Kenya na nini uh, Amani party ya nani ya Mudavadi yeah. ana ana classify kwa sasa Uganda <laughs> yeye yeah, anasema Atena ngoje ile time you dare atanza kubonga na Kenya ni hakujua bonge na yeye. Eh sasa hiyo ile kwa tu eh ni kwa najua tu ikiwa tu miguu kwa meza. meza eh. Ni shida. Shida. Ishaanza kwa shida. Hapo eh. itabidi uh, kaka kuna msee na ni lazima bembeleze uh, DP hmm. ni Moses Kuria. Okay. Kuzo msee waga following yake eh. waga yani na mfollo kabisa like even one of the reasons why mseka rawa na struggle na central yeah. ni juu hiyo raya yeah. vile li paint girao ka like the worst person in the world yeah uh, so yeye ndio anaiamini oh. so uh, ita itabidi kina nani vile wasoro kwa nasema at they were told to hit the ground running <laughs> licheki some comments za <laughs> nini <laughs> eh yeah, so vile wako na dusty feet <laughs> itabidi yeah. what try to convince dp mm. why he needs them Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that he needs Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you need to interesting. Lafu tuki ruka masai za states kidogo. Mm. Ah, uh, raya za states zilienda kwa nini? A restaurant flani. Mm. Ile usai nini usava mabufe. Mm. Lafu apparently steak ilikuwa imeisha. Mm. Watu wakaanza ku fight. Kuna vitu zingine za kifast world yani watu du, vitu za kidado world. Yani Kenya sisi ukienda kwa restaurant dishi ishe utadu. Tanza ku fight. Zi Sunajibia tu shughuli. Na wewe uju si eti nilikuwa ni food ya bure ama yeah, food. Tuseme ni food. Eh. Yeah. Alafu si tulikuwa umeshalipa in advance. Haujalipa. Eh yeah, unaenda. So ukipata hakuna, 
unatoka unaenda to the next restaurant mm. or look for another alternative so ukianza ku fight una fight ndio what happens alafu ati shida pia ilikuwa part of the shida ilikuwa soje bila alami ukula garea mm. na kula nganya maijaiva damu yeah, yeah. so kuna kamlami apparently kalikuwa kama kuja baadaye mm. ka se kadha ko kwa line yeah. uh, alafu kakaoda hiyo rea mm. so rea ikatengenezwa of course haraka <laughs> tusi nyama imeiva ni ka you eating raw meat ka alafu kakapatiwa so acha wasanze kuzusha oh. ni 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 yani za ovyo <laughs> mafaitiaje ah kuna vitu zingine zile zinafaa ku happen third world yeah. mm. but zina happen huko alafu uh, nini kuna story tuli saa kubonga juu yake on wednesday mm. like kwa story na apoko yeah yes, so, sir. apoko alikuwa ameenda kwa album launch ya size 8 mm. alafu size 8 akaita nini ma pasta mm. ma nini eh, wa kuja on stage mm ani tongo the ordained the ordained eh yeah. so hira ya kusikia hivyo apoko nikasema as much as yes he passed up mm. api ko ordained saka enda kwa stage yeah. so kwenda kwa stage nani aka zusha size eta kasema we jipe shule after ya kuambua hivyo ikaenda kuitisha ka press conference pale pale nje <laughs> alafu acha dj mo atoke kule <laughs> mlali mvuruga <laughs> wakamtoa huko nje nini karibu itan physical eh yeah, ju mosimol kwa sema ana bahati ni niokoka eh alafu ile cheki the next day vile ile apologize yeah. apoko oh ali apologize eh yeah. yeah. ile ta media yeah. afi na piga magoti kila kwa dramatic yeah. mse ni nini lakini i think ana <laughs> he's just having a nice time yani amona yeah. kila mtu yuko so involved na what he's doing yeah so just now, let me take advantage because yeah. yeah. it's crazy Yeah, elita kapi. Yeah, na na ni kuna kwa tu kadha kwa scenes hizi yani. Naangalia na shindo what what the hell is going on? Yeah, yeah, Rikomondi. Yeah. What are they doing? Simple. Like I'm sorry if you guys maybe you're having fun but yeah. you look like idiots out here. You look like mm, poop. Mm, mm. <sighs> hey, Joe Ninja vile alipiga magoti alisema imepiga yeah. magoti si julikosea but juu ya fight yake na DJ Mo mm. iliaibisha Yesu. So yeah no oh, for Jesus didn't die for this shit yeah. 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 so yeah so, so uh, yeah but I just I admit my cause you know yeah and yeah. yeah, apologize to kwa ali kwa ali haibisha Yesu jeez uh, alafu ira yako uh, jume itaja sio mm. nataka tuitaje kwa show leo but since we bring up what tubonge juu yake unajua iko TZ eh? nani Eric ah eh so yeah. nasikia tuko hapa tuko na ule mcheke shaji mcheshi ama yeah. mcheke shaji eh yeah. yeah. Eriki Omondi. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So ilikuwa imeenda, ilikuwa imeenda wasafi. Mm. Alafu uh, of course it can deny that baby again. Yaani huyu mtu hii anafaa tu. Sina kule mtu hii mmoja ule. Ile mtu wa Jackie Maribi. Mm. Hii ninje ilikuwa sina sina mtu, sina bibi na sina mtoto. Wa, yeah, ilisema hivyo. So haka mtu hii kamekuwa denied. Na cheki. But uh, yo, oh, man, this is But them uh, 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 If this nigga said Let's do a DNA test. Let's mm. do a DNA test. Yeah. Just cause maybe you like him more than you like the next nigga. Mm. Uh, it's bullshit. If he's the dad, prove he's the dad. If he's not, yeah, let don't him put be. the kid in so much of that. Yeah, because that I grow up mm. alafu ataanza kufikiria jo hizi vitu itamu affect. Yeah, yeah. Like nobody wanted to be my dad. Yeah, you come you to his eyes in Kipana eh. Naambia hang out na to you mio and and I'm hang out na to you. Alafu ndio trio atampatia that rapper shit. Yeah. Then before it has my daddy ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your jokes ain't even funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that rapper shit. Yeah. Eh ile what uh, the hell? Biological didn't bother. Yeah. Mm. So ninja iko TZ. Uh, of course kaulizwa ju ya diamond na nani? Na, na harmonize. Mm. So according to you uh how far you compare diamond na harmonize cuz uh, diamond is like the father to harmonize ukitaka ku compare harmonize mm. una compare na hizi raya zingine ati akina Rivani mm. yeah. so iko huko lakini ilikuwa wasafi so, so he has to lazima, kiss us okay. yeah, lazima ange kiss us hope you nani. send a proper contract with those niggas mom yeah cuz eh ali kiss your rasa yeah. eh yeah, alafu still pia tuki stick na diamond unajua kuna hii nini na kama eh? uh, like some netflix, netflix na yeah. Yeah, young famous and african yeah umeona sijaona nimeona tu hiyo post about Yeah, yeah. Mm. so of course you ninja iko hapo inapatia na story na ile kilami yake ile me flip ka accent so you know what i did only cheat i made her pregnant na yule na try ku wen some bullshit so inabonga jia um vile ilikuwa gana zari mm. 
alafu ikapatia Hamisa Mobeto ball. Unajua ilipatia goal time eh? Yeah. Eh, so alafu according to you iliambia Hamisa I'll take care of the baby. Mm. But Hamisa ndiye alifanya story kajulikana like everywhere. Oh. So the first thing ile vile notice who them can't after fame, mm. he can deny mtu hisi wake mm. alafu eventually ikakubali. Oh. So hapo kuna hiyo clip too short ile nabonga juu ya hiyo story. Yeah. So I am looking forward to nini. Umechekia eh una need kuacha trailer. A lot of bougie Africans. Alafu pia inakuonyesha like South Africa. Mm. Where wa yenyewe jo. Kuna young any young famous and Af- mm. so, on, on, naishi, South yes, Africa. Eh sasa wa gani tofauti. Eh sasa mm. sasa watu wanaishi kabisa. Alafu mm. tukistick na Netflix ni um uh, documentary uh, part 1. Mm. ya Kanye West the genius ilitokea jana mm. mimi inaitwa genius mm. uh, ni kwa na watch part one jana na goli ni pata ni kiwache mm. purely watch part of it so yeah, far just, just part of it so far yeah it's a, it's a good document me niko yeah. niko somehow I like um say alikuwa gana hiyo nini ya kushoot videos yeah. na kuzi keep from that time yeah. um say alikuwa bright Yeah. Eh, so uh, we saw so, ulipata kayo party shapita. Mm. So um say mm. ali ni stand up comedian. Yeah. So um uh, alafu as a stand up comedian alienda kwa miangukia show flani hapo. Mm. Think when to channel 0 ya mm. hip hop artist. Mm. So ile time ali interview this dude kuzema mwenye anatoka pia Shy Town mm. Chicago. Mm. The first time ali interview this dude aka notice according to her mm. notice there something special about mm. the dude. Mm. So kambi um say mimi nitaanza ku document. Ile mm. tu kimchezo. Mm. This is like in 98. Mm. Alafu unajua vile usema ga life happens. So hapa in between hakuna kitu yote ame do. Alafu uh, um say akaenda hapa ame travel amekuja New York. Mm. So after a uh, produce H to the Izo mm. um say akumka eh iki msee kinaenda ku blow up mm. saka panda ndege akatoka shaitao akaenda uh, new york yeah, sasa okay. kumfuata mm. na sasa now they go through everything mm. but the only thing nime soma analysis za hiyo ni afterwards mm. na kuna msee anasema that watching this will make you hate the present kanye mm. cuz now you see the humble version of kanye mm. cuz na kongo ninja vile kwa try ku blow up yeah. ilikuwa humble na yeah. say siwezi rap you are killing people yeah. <laughs> selling drugs, drugs yeah. i don't do that yeah, say easy mazee zile threats anatumia yeah, <laughs> davidson <laughs> sindio <laughs> have, have some goons on at saturday night live ah <laughs> you yeah. your line when you bomb so na cheki yo like the transition ile mm. a hero to basically a villain but yeah. sasa hiyo part one kama uje check jo mm. endo it check it's very inspirational na pia ni ni poe na kuonyesha vile so dream because mm. enye hii bullshit ya muziki anga so kusema speak it into existence mm. i know it happens and i feel like some things mimi mwenyewe nishazi speak into existence kuna vitu nilikuwa na imagine nikiwa mtu hii zile zile kam ku happen mm. later in life so mm. I basically I spoke them into existence but this also literally spoke everything yeah, into to existence. existence yeah yani liko na dreams but one of the most beautiful things kwa hiyo part one ni mm. interactions zake na madhaki na madhaki hizo ziko ya hizo ziko special yeah hizo ziko Donda. something donda yeah yeah mpaka yani wa wa madha mimi na credit for everything for... yeah, yeah. Hata kita kududonda part 5 tuwe kubali. Cuz alikuwa na support mtu yake mm. to a certain level. Ngoma mpaka na speed rhymes za hiyo ninja. Rhymes ninja nyai kumbuki, yeah. mwanza nakumbuka. Yeah. Hata kio level then. <laughs> Alafu na kwa ile time uh, tukichekio part nikikwambia like the closest I've ever come to seeing that. Mm. Na huyu ni mse tuna need maybe kwa session naye hapa mm. ni Clemo. Clemo mm. kila so juagi ni Calif Calif Records ilianza kwa sitting room ya kina Clemo. Mm. Na si sitting room ati yake mwenyewe, mm. sitting room ya parents wake. And mm. don't forget these are African parents. Mm. And like the mom was a teacher. I don't know uh, budaki alikuwa na dunini, but mm. for African parents to actually let you mm. convert a sitting room into mm. a studio mm. and let all these strangers come in mm. just for you to follow your dream. Yeah. As in the only parent will be beat you ni yo mother nani saa kani. Yeah. Other is that some special shit. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so documentary inaitwa Genius uh, part 1 ilikuwa jana watu wana ujinga. Mm. Netflix tupatie ni part 1 2 and 3 mara moja tuito tuiondo ke. Was it three parts peke yake? Yeah, ni three parts. Ah. Uh, so your part 2 iko next week on Thursday, then your part ingine iko on Tuesday and mm. but uh, it's it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Alafu uh, uh, kabla tu kwa story na kumka history ni checkation ni story ya pure producer ni to dag infinite. Yeah. <laughs> 
eh, vile Dagin finish wanapatana na Kanye place flani ye daga na msifu lakini mtu wangu nini then Johnny Kanye ask him say him this nigga is two face but maybe maybe you want to misunderstand ama eh yeah? this could yeah. misunderstand or only understand that okay um say wa, wa, ana big up ndio ana yeah. wanaongea and then a few days later nini uh, article inatokea yeah ya yeah, kanya ki interview mm. alafu ana shout out ah oh, wengine so wote including uh, nani, no, no id, ID mm. ana cha dag na dag ndio mse i think alikuwa close na yeye kushinda because mm. alikuwa anasema alikuwa akienda kwa no id mm. no id ana anaona vitu no idea anafanya yeah. bali kitaka mfundishe yeah, anachukua nika eh, attack your story so yeah. akienda kwa dag mm. dag anamfundisha vitu zote zile aliona kwa yeah. but saw kwa article ya magazine yeah. unacheki ana shout out au asi ana muacha ziko cuz mimi vile nilielewa yeah. acha mimi itabidi ni repeat but, okay, okay. but mimi mm. nilielewa that e time wamepatana hapa mm. wakibigiana hapa mm. tayari mm. Dag alikuwa amesoma ile interview. Mm. So John, cuz ilikuwa like an interview. Mm. So mse aliandika interview mm. ndio nani kani anasema ya litaja Dag Infinite. Mm. But aka mse kaliandika mm. aka kuandika. So John oh. kuna kuangana hiyo jinga. Oh, yeah, Mimi shadow gig interview zingine yeah. zile mse anaacha detail fulani. Yeah. Niko like kwa nini umeacha hiyo detail? That yeah. detail is important to yeah. paint the to whole paint picture. The picture yeah. So uh, ni kama me vile ni understand ni hivyo. Ni yeah. let's say oh tumekuwa na wewe leo una ni big up alafu jioni nasikia uh, ni kama umedis so hii time yote ulikuwa umejam jo ile article hmm. but aunge niambia hmm. whatever but okay. either way hata mimi nita nitabidi kuiwatch tena yeah. Yeah. but uh, of course after kuona ni story kuhusu article pia ni kwa like uh, that's yeah. it's that's that's too minute yeah. if i yeah. ku, kutoa hold this song based yeah. on that i yeah. guess yeah. Yeah. but so, what waga what to waga yeah. emotional kiasi yeah. Alafu eh Uber wanasema that very soon sisi kama passengers tutaweza kuona ratings zetu mm. uh, vile ma driver wame to rate. So, si imekuaga. Uh, as a rider. Mm. Wewe unaona wewe una ratings zako? Si kwa naona but wao rate. Uh, Zi size unasema sasa utakuwa ukiona. Eh. Oh. Like vizuri. Mm. So kwa wao rate ndio una kuna time unapataka mse anaitisha Uber haikuzi. Eh. Kwa sababu kuna rating mbaya. Eh. 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 But sasa tunajua mm. uh, how to rate mm but ni kama hatuko access unajua kama wenyewe na Jonangas G4.5 stars mm, ni nini mm. so wenyewe utakuwa ukiona mm. kama uko kwa one star <laughs> uki request <laughs> kai ukienda au anze ku na bibi ya mtu unako na one star au yeah. na bahati cuz yeah. no one is coming to pick you yeah yeah eso unajua unajua mapema so uh, mm. so kitu ni bamba mm. ni vile sasa uh, wasome uh, nini article yenyewe hapa Kenya mm. wana try to think like americans mm. wanasema tv vitu zinazofanya Um, sewa uba mm. akurete vibaya ni kome slam lango mm. au niko show madero mezo ya afrika afrika o slam lango mm. cause also gari yeah. zote zinafaa ku slam yeah. me I, i can I, i can tell you for a fact like most of the times unapata gari things mbaya kwa kwa uba or any of these other cars yeah. uga ni kwa jili umechukulia mse ride yeah. na uji vile o mse ubiye unapata oh, huko poa so umechukulia yeah. mse ride yeah. but mse akifika huko Mm. ana misbehave mm. alafu sasa hiyo rating unajaita anda kwa kejuwe ndio ulimchukulia yeah, so ina kama yeah. kwako so una pataga yeah. wengi ushindo i what happened mm-hmm. kumbe ni mse ulichukulia ride mm. yeah. ama mse anze kuomkosea heshima kuomkosea heshima yeah, yeah. yeah. but pia ama drivers <laughs> jo ufanyaga vitu zingine <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. zinaweza fanya u mm. umpatie rating ya ajabu alafu hiyo pia ati nini uh, uki waste time yeah. although you waste time nafikiria jali gi kuska wenyewe ndio wanzishaga trip hata kabla ufike cuz yeah. they make more money your time pia wame wanaongoja oh, yeah. oh, yeah, wame mm. hapo wakikaa yeah, shaingia kwa gari mara mob unangoja msia anzishe trip kumbe alianza kitambo eh yeah. ndio mbona usioni ukishika simu mm. alianzisha sawa mka hapo nikaa na kungoja yeah. so kuna that extra money le mm. anatengeneza but unajua pia nini ukiwa na ukienda pale wamwe kuangalia ratings zako mm na wewe si mse unajua ku handle emotions itakuwa ni shida kwa sababu kuna ingia kwa gari kwa umekasirika <laughs> <laughs> kana wapatia pesa na bado mna nidharau tu za pata umepatiwa kanini kaansa uh, kuna wasee utakaka kuongea yeah. baadaye tushaingia kwa gari mob zile unapata yeah. dere ako akona stories interesting yani yeah, yeah. so mnaenda mmechapa story hata ukifika huko una mwaido <laughs> unashinda yeah. una mwaido kidogo hivi yeah, yeah. kwa sababu kuna wasee interesting yeah. afu kuna wale sasa manga yeah. 
wale yeah. iko na nini ama anaanza kujipoteza au kujipoteza yeah. ndio nikatsia yeah. nao niko sure wale washanipoteza <laughs> wamenipatia rating ya 1 cuz mu jam yeah. mtu jo yeah. so let you jinga kunini yeah. so eh hey, so kawe ni msutumia gauba eh, size chunga jo ma ratings zitakuwa mm. uh, alafu the sport pesa ceo ana run for nini kasarani eh? anataka mm. kuwa the kasarani mp yeah. ana so jeni bad news kwa nani prezo Ah. Eh, kuza. Prezo alikuwa anaranuka hivyo. Eh, unaangalia time Prezo alikuwa anatutishia vile iko na pesa. Unajua raia gambling ikitokea, the house always wins. Unajua? So this dude has so much money. Yeah. That one of clear interest zake akiran for MP. Yeah. Is it for the normal Kenyan? Yes. Cuz according to me anatrai kwa MP ku, ku protect gambling. Yeah. Eh hakuna kitu yote anatrai kudu pale ati ya maana ati jua raya. Mm. Ataka raya za kasarani sasa ndio zigamble vizuri. Sasa <laughs> <laughs> ndiendelee kutengeneza do. do uh, eh so siko baa lakini hiyo chance. Bado yuko hiyo sport pesa ama ali, alitoka. Bado yeye ni sport pesa CEO. Yeah. Eh. So akienda kurani ita, ita have ku quit lakini. I think maybe kitu yeah, cause... but si atabakisha shares zake. Yeah. Eh so wow atakuwa yani hata sina kwambia ile pesa ni za kutengeneza parliament mm. ni pesa ni kushua through sport pesa yote tengeneza in one day mm. na cheki yeah. so uh, prezo jo kan mi prezo size sana kwanza kufikiria place ana za run yeah. uh, <laughs> place ingine place ingine jo mm. uh, hii story ya mp kasarani achana nayo anza kufikiria kauni za kuwa kae mcs juu hata juu ya utaenda <laughs> mca wapi jo eh <laughs> try kufikiria kitu kingine yeah. <laughs> ataka kuna world rap Hawezi <laughs> shindana na raya ya gambling. I mean, <laughs> ile ndio anakam nayo. Mm. Cuz it matters, unajua. The yeah. only reason uh, Jaguar alishinda. Ama yeah, this is the time challenge Jaguar. Naona kuna time Prezo na Jaguar walikuwa na beef. Walikuwa na beef eh. Kuna yeah. kuna beef flani walikuwa ganayo. Alafu na goyo time nani? Uh, Jaguar alikuwa na injury Prezo na do. So this is the time to prove who has more money, man. Goenda kwa Jaguar's backyard. Yeah. Stare, let's yeah. see. Yeah. So, yeah, it's quite interesting tatungoje tucheki hiyo kitu uh, kitu ta happen hapo um, alafu i uh, still talking about gambling kuna kanan masaiza mm. us mm. alikuwa kana run chuo uh, like uh, alikuwa ka principal ka chuo mm. fulani mm. and then kumbe alikuwa addicted to ga- uh, nini gambling mm. kanan addicted to gambling so kaliran hiyo chuo for 30 years mm. but for the last 10 years alikuwa kana get gido Bea chuo watu wamelipa fee. Kanaenda Las Vegas jo. Weekend kako Las Vegas. Nani kanan? Kana haribu. By the time walika discover uh-huh. kanako kama iba 835,000 dollars. Wow. That's 83 million. That's not even 83. So this is to become 110. Mm. So that's basically like 92 million mm. Kenyan shillings. Eh. Yeah. Alafu saka alikuwa kana face 40 years in prison. Ali kana ngozi nyeupe. Ah. Uh. Eh, yeah. so yeah, kalipati how many years? Yeah. One year. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so nafikiria Las Vegas kwa kuna para tu, kana gamble tu akapia kwa na get dick. Cuz mimi nafikiria ukienda Vegas. Si ndio? Yeah. What happens in Vegas stays, stays in, in Vegas. Vegas. So anajua hapo hivyo hata wai. Yeah. 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 Afuka hapo pa na cha vijana wadogo aguzwe guzwe. Yeah. Yeah, kwa nini mimi nisiguzwe? Eh, si ndio. Eh, so uh, kuna kana tu. Wow. wow. Eh, yeah. alafu nao back to Kenya some really depressing shit ile mm. happen hapa Kenya ni um, kuna this car loans racket mm. ile ina, ina happen mm. so basically kile mafala zinadu ni mafala zimeshikana mm. ah zimeshikana ah, so kuna kabuda like mm. the main culprit mm. ni flani to George Gitu mm. so ira ni to George Gitu at kile wewe ufanya mm. you drive around na hii alafu na chikinda ya nguvu imepack mm. pahali mm anachukua number plate. Mm. Kishachukua number plate, anadungia mabeste zake wale wako NTSA. Mm. Wanachukua number plate, wana change details za kwa NTSA mm. database. Mm. So inakuwa nikaa huu fala ndio na onda yako. Mm. Lafu anachukua loan nayo. Kishachukua loan nayo, mm. wana revert the details back to wewe. Mm. But bank kuna details za gari gani? Ndio yako. Wewe siku moja tu uko tu pale tu umetulia tikirazme za bank zimekamfuchukua gari mm. eh yeah. alafu sasa ufala alifikishwa kotini si ndio mm. so uh, like the last uh, ndai ile alifanya hivyo yeah. ilikuwa prado fulani mm. alichukua loan ya 1.5 million alafu 
hii Prado ilikuwa Prado Dem Flannel kwa menunulia madhake. Mm. Alinulia madhake cash. Yeah. But apart from kununulia madhake, madhake iko like uh, ni handicapped. Mm. Ofalaza banks zilichukua ndai. So tikio jinga. Yeah. Alafu ila ya si sasa imekuwa arrested. Mm. Najua bail imepatwa dong ngapi? Mm-hmm. The last loan ilichukua ni 1.5. Yeah. Bail make a guess wild guess Kenya. The Kenyan judiciary fine corruption. Z 100,000 shillings. Are you fucking kidding me? Hii country ni country tu ya ajabu. Yeah, 100 tau. Like 100,000 shillings. The last loan this motherfucker took was with 1.5. I thought he's living lavish, driving expensive cars. No, the... Grab all these expensive cars. Haijalishi kali chukua the minute you know that it's fraud. Mm. You take everything from him. Yeah. Return everyone else's car. Yeah. I have no business with you. Asa na fa kusiuzo ma bank. Yeah that's yeah that's what we yeah, should get some good lawyers this is yeah. where now good lawyers are supposed to pop, pop out yeah. of of nowhere mimi na zingo mimi kama si nilikia good lawyer na chukua tu na nijo ahmed nasir hata vuruga hiyo bank eh cuz what the fuck by the time anamaliza na hiyo bank eh atakuwa me cuz na hizo ninja za ntss zimeshikwa eh kadha zimeshikwa lakini sasa ka bail ni 100k this country man cuz sasa yani wa So e country jo unless uko na nini kama ile ule mse wa ndovu unajua mm. gari nyingine ile mpaka everyone knows it's you otherwise mm. buda gona sikiza iko nini na ka prado flan henda uche kai ko register na majina yako e, mse inaitwa george gitu jo yeah, eh, all they do is nini take the loan yeah. as soon as the loan nini una revert back to her but yes you gonna ampata free money mm. eh yeah. out on bail 100000 you look to ina ni uzi like every time i na hakuna watu wame wamezusha online this those are the things that you need hashtags for yeah but tunajua jana nini wasa wame expose ira yani wasa wa dci eh yeah. uh, oh, na sasa inafaa kujua ira za dci okay, ni yeah, dci is ni bamba mbaya eh yeah, cuz this niggas. system is for work yeah. ah hii ninja itashanga hata cuz inaza pa inaza cool inaza umapamba eh yeah. uh, cuz najua hiyo pia zinaza i dexter sikiona If the system is not working, you yeah. can't keep doing that shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but of course, ma, zinakubamba? Jo. Cuz inaka finally kuna mtu anafanya kazi mahali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Na unaka wasio anafanya kazi. Eh, yeah, wana do job, mm. wana do job. Cuz hata majuzi kulikuwa na hizi ma makarao zilitoka sijui masaiza Kisumu zingine sijui zimetoka wapi zikuja Nairobi kuvuruga mm. raya za DCI. Mm. Zilishikwa na zikaenda zikafikishwa zile pita. <laughs> za DCI zile za na check yani. Wakati kule kule kuna raia fulani zilikam kuvuruga eh. Wakara au zingine tu. Zikakaa hapo zikabaki zime go through your system ya nini hizo. Eh. Okay. But it's still scary. You don't try to imagine. To imagine ya. Eh. Wow. Eh cuz una za Cuz ina una room huyo huyo mother disabled gari yake imechukuliwa and then before you get the whole thing sorted out it ijulikane ni ninja. Eh bado ameshikilia gari cuz everything shows iko kwa jina mm, mm. you get yeah. so hii ni story opu sana na uh, kabla tuendelee acha tukumbushe uh, subscribe to our individual channels mm. uh, so kuna channel ya Zack yeah. DJ Zack DJ Zack na cheki inapita hapo kwa screen alafu sasa hizi mimi nimeanzisha channel tofauti mm. na channel yangu mwa Africa ile yeah. nilikuwa na do my rap shit lakini yeah. apart from my rap shit nataka ku do Uh, like debates mm. na ku debate na say kama mm. Martino Medo nilikwambia mm. tunafaa ku debate na wewe mm. but sana kilami <laughs> wanataka tu debate na Martino Medo ji ya uh, AIDS mm. muso maga AIDS is a biological weapon mm. uh, Martino Medo na magazi anasema mm. AIDS is spread in Africa organically mm. miku wangu muso magazi hakuna vile uh, maandini mabuda zetu na mother zetu walikuwa na tia na kutushinda mm. si wenyewe who have more sex than them mm. sex is more accepts, uh, accessible right now mm. how is any AIDS spread in the 80s makes no sense. Mm. Moyo yako na shughuli na barabara. <laughs> Hakuna vile kitu ina affect central like ina fa ku affect Nyanza ama mm. ku affect kuna cheki. Yeah. Uh, so hiyo debate tunafa ku na hizo hizo kwa nataka ku have such debates kwa mwa Afrika. Mm. Sasa nikaamua since pia napenda tech na nataka stories za streaming especially this year. Mm. Nimeanzisha ka channel kangu hata na guess I iko na zero subscribers so far. <laughs> <laughs> Ina itwa Luthuli Avenue. Yeah. So yeah, so Oh, sa, so so yeah, kaul ko mesa subscribe kwa hiyo channel ingine pia yeah. ingia hapa. Yeah. Toko kipata hiyo naitwa? Yeah, Luthuli yeah. Avenue. Luthuli Avenue. Yeah, yeah. tunabonga tu juu ya stories za tech, za stories za yeah. 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 So 
e, sota kwa hapo but saa uh, tukiendelea ni Aga Khan University Hospital uh, wali f- perform their first erectile dysfunction operation mm. e, so try to imagine uh, guess ilikuwa dong yes. the operation how much is the operation sima milioni milioni moja at between 800,000 to 1 million shillings mm. for an operation a yeah, erectile dysfunction i think so eh uh, one is end operation kayo let's Z. say you are in such a scenario Z. what would your solution be uh niko how old uh, i don't know maybe uh, you can't shamalizana na 40s 50s 60s. okay 40s 50s na za tafuta hiyo do sunday ipata wapi but na za tafuta cause eh yeah, eh yeah, ikatai kwa mka 40 eh what are you going to do for the rest of let's say unaenda kuishi another for lakini mweza tembe mimi sipatiani 800 thou no hey, erectile dif- dysfunction ni ile hata tembe hayezi eh yeah, uko sure eh yeah. Kus- simba- kuna hii yeah. hii kawaida ikuangi tini erectile hiyo gatuni viagra ifaiku i don't think so for erectile. erectile dysfunction i don't think so that's like a like a proper inaitwaje eh yeah. eh yeah, hiyo ni kitu permanent yeah. Mimi nafikiria Viagra ni vitu vitu semi permanent ile ulikanyagana sana hey. ni weekend Wacha nione uh, mimi ujua ga Viagra ni no. erectile dysfunction cuz mimi hakuna vile na spend No hiyo tu ni akonge yeah. uh, on an operation ya nini cuz especially if I am a younger dude mm. ina make sense Yeah like that's why I asked like how old am I spending all that money mm. lakini mimi size like at 40s ai 40s kwenda mm. juu Kani bado nae pesha na sasa yeye kavile na hapo azizo. Eh what's an check here like eh, rectal dysfunction treatment treatment varies from whatever whatever uh medications okay um eh yeah, according to nini yeah. akina viagra pia utumika. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They are part of it. So yeah. unless ya ingine ni extreme. Yeah, jukuna ile. Ile unapata gani extreme say uko jini hakuna kitu inafanyika eh tuseme hiyo jo kuso yeah. try to imagine ka kabuda fulani ah mm. uh, yeye ondoa tu wife peke yake mm. wife wake peke yake mm. afu aende afanye hiyo operation mm. Mm. asasa kwa michangamu galafu wife ata changamu mm. <laughs> utakuwa kwa hao uko depressed kwa nini hata ningenunua tu gari tu <laughs> wasichana angekuwa anacheza na hata kai melala <laughs> najua uko tu depressed tu hapo <laughs> yeah, cuz unless uh, mtu ana ni guarantee new pussy Mm. Akuna vile mi naweza spend a million on nini. <laughs> Hii nafaa kwa ina come with like random new person. <laughs> This is the a million shilling dick yani ile. Eh hiyo ni do mingi sana. Uh, so eh yeah. so eh hey, kao umekuwa na shida eh hey, jua jo aga kan university. Na ilikuwa successful. <laughs> eh hey, walifanya their first nini? Eh na ilikuwa successful. That's But me the only thing is I don't trust like uh, Kenyan medicine to just at any wapatie tu dick yangu waanze mm-hmm. kuoperate the high the most one of could do ni circumcision anything more than that stuck <laughs> kitu. Anza <laughs> <laughs> kufanyia pale sasa unakuwa na even worse. <laughs> Split the head in two. Yeah. <laughs> jo. yeah it's okay. Yeah, Kenya ah uh, uh, ikwangu itakuwa. Okay, Leo ikia kwanza after circumcision. Yeah. Ile unafikiria something probably went wrong yani you will kwenda kukojoa. Eh kila kitu inaenda hivi. So like, like what did they do to my dick? Alafu hiyo ndio time kama mtu kana erectile dysfunction na nafaa ku kuenda nini? Mm. Eh cause wale mtu nyonji wa vyo vyo. Una nyonji yeah. zote nataka kupigia. Mzee kwambia kuna kadem TZ nilikuwa nimeka Noki hapo yeah. Arusha. Mm. Alafu kalikuwa slightly older, older than me. Yeah. Na kalijua nimeenda huko. Yeah. So na, na kina kuzoa alikuwa na fun yani. Mm. Una kama kwa room anza <laughs> kuongea ujinga. Anza yeah. naumia hapo. Yeah, cuz immediately <laughs> jiutaki kunyonji una nyonji. Immediately. Alafu na feel ni kazi ile kamba zinatakukata. Yeah. Hai unasikia sije acha. Chungu ingine. Yeah. So hiyo ile story alikuwa sema sije ice cubes nini none of that shit works. Eh. Wewe kwanza man ingine ice cubes. Yeah, so you just get ice cubes and then yeah. you place them on your groin. Oh, yeah. he's gonna do. Okay, oh, yeah, you don't got to find. Yeah. yeah. No, But half the time it wasn't working. Kao demo liko ni kitu umemendea sana. Cuz hako ka demo liko nimeka mendea. Oh. Yeah. Alafu najua ga shida wase wengi ni watu ifanya in teenagehood. Mm. And that's the worst time to find. Yeah. Hiki ni nafaa kufanya ukiwa mtoto. Eh. Kama ukiwa mtoto hii ruka kabisa kujoifanyia huko ma 50s. Unyonji of your. Lakini teenagehood pale 
wakati umekaa tu chini tu pale umetulia yeah. hivi unachiki ya hata inzi mbili zimeanza kuondohana ushaje ushaje <laughs> you go like i wish i was that i think hiyo time ndio ati ninja zinataka eh unajua ndio vyo vyo so ina kuwa some yeah. bullshit eh, so agakani university hospital wana operate on dicks um eh lakini sio na i think to shame mention hapa vile uh, inaitwa nini Cuba. Mm. Cuba ndio kuna kwa gana free free medicare. Mm. Si ndio? Mm. So since pia kuna free medicare, uh, Cuba waga the country where like are with the most uh, penis um, surgery. Surgery. Eh, yeah. because yeah. some ninjas went for penis enlargement. But so, those things do they work? That's the one thing I've never known. Sasa ijalishi wewe jua tu ukisikia manzi yako ameenda holiday <laughs> Cuba. Cuba. Ah, <laughs> uko na shida. <laughs> Cause ninjas like the most mm. ninjas huko zime go for hizo surgeries mm. so hakuna kitu kama average pale yeah. Yeah. so that but of course kuna wale watu wameenda wakakuwa disrupted in a bad way mm. alafu kuna zile ninja saa zimeenda ziko zimeani yeah. eh dema napatana pale mpaka <laughs> ukirudi kaza ah ai yani kidole ai nini Unaanza kushindwa jo kunaendaje tena je? Sasa tena kwa gaiyo. Is the countries were interesting sana. Mm-hmm. Kusa Cuba iko na hiyo. Alafu country nyingine pia iko interesting ni ni Iran. Mm-hmm. Iran as a, a Muslim country. Mm-hmm. Una expect kuna transgenders. Do you expect that Iran? When you think about Iran. Mm-hmm. Do you expect I mean, transgender people? Okay, from what I know is like every country has them. But yeah. now in Iran maybe not many would come out to say they are they come out uh. so uh, iran ni interesting sana mm. ule uh, the ayatollahs wana iranigi mm. wana iranigi strictly based on the quran mm. so since kwa quran kuna place yote mm. transgenders wamekuwa bashed mm. ina maanisha being a transgender is okay, not, is okay. Uh, so aso utra nini hizo ma sex mm. change mm. in iran yeah. it's some normal shit oh things you don't expect medjuan tembea kuingia one mengi. yeah one mengi. but one thing i want to tell guys is that mm. iran was the, probably was the most progressive country mm. in the world in the 60s and the 50s oh it come to change it come to change to up eh yeah. well i ah, say wale kwa progressive kushinda hata vile wao na states eh. i think first mini mini skirts mm. zilikuwa gawuko hivyo just go google and find kitu, out kitu interesting ni usha mm. naga picha za uh, somalia in the 70s mm-hmm. enda utafute enda tu go google somalia in the 70s yeah. mami ni skata zijua ni yeah also walikuwa na walikuwa progressive sana eh yeah. yeah. vitu zili change tu hapo i think uh, after yeah. america america messed up everything yeah, yeah. america li walifanya <laughs> nini eh yeah, now ndio wanaenda kutusababisha by the way hakuna mtu anaongea juu eh third world war but it's coming yeah. be ready eh kuna za kuona sambusi eh hey, mzee Russia na eh hey, Russia Vladimir aki akiambiwa se like unajiona yes, una few story ya ya nini mm. ya Russia na u Ukraine mm. every time usema sendeni ni watu CNN na ma Al Jazeera Al Jazeera I think Al Jazeera and mm. uh, and Sky mm. have the most uh, comprehensive nini of that that your conflict eh uh, your conflict cuz me check ukraine wameanza ku train civilians eh eh yeah, wameanza ku train cuz mm. nani ame jam sasa alikuwa alita press conference alikuwa ame mm. jam vladimir eh yeah. eh yeah, anambia say you're going to find yourself in a situation you don't want yeah. like no one is going to win here nokshaski yeah. orezo amesema no one is going to win ame ame give up amesema sahi kamba mm. mbaya lakini unajua hii ninja si wacha ni tuna Ukraine jo yes <laughs> Ukraine ni cool. strategic in a way that uh wakiget hiyo influence ya NATO mm. waingie NATO mm. it uh, disrupt a lot of uh, things that Russia is doing mm. so mm. that's why I under try to protect as much as possible oh mm. and i need to fort leo story jo cuz you got to shindo obsen nini jo yeah eh ni ka country ka small akana watu wengi kasa hizi meja ice hizo yeah. tank zina zina sink kwa ice yeah. so hiyo january hiyo time alikuwa anataka ku invade hiyo tu ndio kitu ilikuwa ina stop hiyo oh. ice so wana ngoja nini hizi mm. eh yeah, kukuwa clear kiasi yeah. <laughs> ndio maana wakina biden walikuwa wako wako mm. prepared for Mm. February because they knew na, February. Na pia wana uh, kina Biden wana um, Ukraine ama uh, eh wanataka wanasema wanataka ku nini ku ku provide support. Eh. Eh, so ni US ni ni UK mm. ni France ni Germany. Mm. Eh. 
Wa, hiyo story na need kuifuatilia. Na vako kufuatilia. Na ni ameja mazuri uko, yani ushaona mtu amejam ile anaongea, hujui mm. anatumia lugha gani but ukimwangalia like you understand wewe ukiangalia macho uangalie mdomo. Mm. Unacheki huyu msia amejam. He's even almost shaking while mm. talking to uh, mm. reporters. Oh. Uh, okay. Anambia saizi no one is going to win. Mm. Uh, kind of, if this is what they have chosen. Kinuka kanuka. Kia, <laughs> Kuna okay. orezo fulani wa state alikuwa ameongea gaivo kitambo. Mm. Sikumbuki ni nani. Yule akwambia say no one is going to win. Meaning mm. aki notice tu mnaenda kufanya kitu ya ujinga atafanya kitu ile itafanya everyone. Eh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wamsel kwa si wamsel kwa plan ku kunini either moon mm. ama one of these uh, ninis. Mm. Either Mars ama moon. Yeah. Alikuwa na plan kui nuke yeah. dio ikinini eh yeah. you know you know kila mtu oh. i think kwa hizo stories za chini chini ya maji watu wako oh. wanajua ya yeah, like you know, you know, a stop hiyo cuz hiyo unajua hata china watakuwa involved yeah. cuz as long as ni wewe na america yeah. that's an but you see now china is on involved. the side is on the side of russia eh yeah, lakini tunakuambia ukitaka kudu kitu ta affect everyone, everyone yeah. china size yule wako number 1 yeah. no, atasema zi <laughs> au ndio atakuzima utajifanyisha kwa na yeye alafu uh, wakuzime yeah. yes, yeah. but wewe well, okay hiyo story na ni kuifuatilia sijawa ni kuifuatilia story ya nini nilikuwa yeah. nikiona tu zaman ni za wasio na wana amia yeah yeah na wasio ni wales why is fight na russia mmm acha ngoje tuone click to happen um so alafu uh, story ngine ime happen thursday hapa kenya ni kuna wafala fulani ya kenyan citizen ilishikwa airport na 238 million shillings in cash uh, lakini like uh, pesa yenyewe ni worth 238 million kenyan mm, mm. but ilikuwa different foreign currencies mm. na alikuwa anapita nayo through the airport mm. so number one ni sisi ni wa kenya mm. kama gava inasema alipatikana 238 million una fikiri alipatikana donga um around five something <laughs> see you ni kwa sure iko pale analia so why is it declare eh na wezi za sasa hiyo ndio number one like alafu <laughs> ukiwa na pesa mingi kama hii na uko Burundi mm. to me the number one choice inafaa kuwa traveling by road mm. cuz airport guaranteed unaenda kupoteza mm. by road kuna small probability unazafika na unazafika na as long as hakuna accident mm. so sasa hapo ndio time ya kuomba you are god make mm. sure when ile time Kenya nzuri kwa sema wanataka Mungu wa Larry Mado na Mungu wa Elsa Majimbo mm. that's the time to hope your god is like that mm. cuz you need to drive with that money mm. na number one, you need to kufanya vile ma Americans do ile ya, ya drugs ile mnafungua mm. mamilango alafu mneka mm. drugs alafu mnafunga yeah. yeah. so na need to do do hivyo yeah. alafu now you hope for the best cuz any airport you're going to leave all your money let me, let me american just, kenyan yeah let me just be evil kiasi and see if i can get away with this i mean yeah. burundi yeah. with how much 238 million Let's 238 million so tell me with in burundi we like let's say 20 million yeah will i be able to buy like a small property house yeah you can. i can do that yeah so i'll do that yeah bury some of that shit mm and then make a trip from burundi to kenya every now and then yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. carrying That's fruits uh, pumpkins bananas mm. all types of shit mm. but every time na cross na, na dokiasi si ndio eh, but nega alafu pia una involve uh, hapo ndio sasa lazima u trust either your wife or your brother or your what yeah. yeah. so airport pia mnazai test mm. so airport mnazai test na eh wacha tuende na uh, like uh, zik eh, kenya na fakuaga anything above a meter mm. must go declare mm. not just in kenya even us yeah, yeah, more US. than 10000 dollars you have to you declare uh, so should try mara ya kwanza tukupita na 11000 to one 11000 dollars and see mm. tukipenya mm. okay aje nafika pale mpaka so shazo ya nala ah bari zenyu okay <laughs> unajua yeah until mwalize yeah. watu wajua geo wenda ga burundi yeah lakini kukuja na gunia imejaa pesa yeah. any airport yeah hata ninashindwa hii airport hata upite ya, ya, airport zile za kupitaje kusaka kwa nafaka kupita burundi yenye yeah. burundi can use that money yeah burundi ni mafala aje hiyo do imetosha kuunda vitu kadhaa burundi yeah lakini hii do alitoa happy burundi cuz mimi nikifikiria jo burundi <laughs> Burundi ni country me so that you call like a president ka president pekal dead in covid eh mm. uh, so like i don't know like what kind of ideas i could get cash like they, they don't have ways to keep it unajua because mm, yeah. getting it is easy is easy keeping it is the hard part talk to us 
Yeah, cuz especially <laughs> after all these news zile zimekuwa ziki happen za doors zimekuwa frozen zikitoka maju. Yeah. Una panda ndege na tutati. Oh, Au msame ni chokesha sana. Yeah. Nikushoa mafala. Mm. Walipigiana tu mafamilia. Mm. Ama karawa kule eh hey, ile nyumba tu bwana ndaka nimua. Shana afu pia nakumbuka eh hey, hey, yes is pia ni sachukua hii nyumba sasa. Yeah. Wacha tutaishi tu vizuri sana. <laughs> Unajua? Yeah. Kwa sana now just live with physical man. Yeah, you can the, I, I, There's so many ways you can come out of this with not all that money but a good enough chunk yeah, to, to live where yeah good. to where the you are not in cause sa hizi hata kwa government kwa hiyo door niko sure kuna some charges that are going to come with it yeah yeah, yeah. so sa hizi atakuwa depressed kwa kwa depressed unaweza peleka hata jela yeah for no na sa hizi niko sure na nini by time anani hata kwa kibeg chipo ni tu pesa muniache but unge kwa mjanja ungeweza hata ku transport ma- avocado from one country to another Simbio, and then pole 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 eh yeah, kuna zile mm-hmm. mi doka hiyo mm-hmm. hata huko Burundi vile unaniambia juu ya ku Thailand mm-hmm. nita buy hiyo shimo natengeneza nitatengeneza peke yangu mimi mwenyewe yes. hakuna mse nita involve sikuwa game to physical lakini by time narudi huku niko ripped na shindoa <laughs> Niko nenda gym, niko gym ni nyanya yako. Niko unajitengenezea cuz you stay there for a month. Yeah. You can make a very interesting uh Money is very interesting. Uh, yeah. Mimi naweza kuwa eh hey, hey, boss. Okay. Naweza yeah. kuda nini hapo? Yeah. Yeah. The only me the only reason niko even if I miss si si mm. yoi kwa criminal, stagi kwa criminal. Mm. Otherwise boss, zile schemes naweza kama nazo. Hey, <laughs> kau ni za make it to 38 how to, to know how to keep everything. it you have to know you in keep it plan na fa kufanya nini eh so kama ya cha kwa airport una kama ya cha kwa airport sasa hizi imekuwa story customs imekuwa story imetengeneza magazeti kadhaa umecreate employment but we were sort yeah ile hiyo again ile ya training day ile training day vile akina nani Denzel alichukua do afa anza ku share like how comfortable are you how comfortable is alafu kidogo inabaki kama evidence hii mm. 238 nimebaki <laughs> kai ile mesharia alafu jua kuna kama dosi fulani ka Kenya mm. kama kama pali kale katadungiwa like eh hey, mkubwa tumepata pesa fulani hapa tunakuletea mm. mecheki yeah. so yeah pia yani yo ame ame yeah. kwa watu sana cuz niko sure alikuwa na at least 500 million i mean yeah, yeah. yeah. na vile so, kasi hizi inaenda kwa useless si ndio tu yeah. sasa hizi nasikia there's rumors i'm not sure how true it is but there's rumors of uh, us going back to the gold standards eh mm. ju basically our say wa west washa washa accumulate enough gold kutoka africa oh cuz una check is ndio tulikuwa nayo mm-hmm. na ingeza kuwa standard cuz sisi yeah, ndio tuko na hiyo value shit, but eh. they've bought enough of it not enough they've, they've taken it yeah so now if they revert back to the gold standard now we are fucked, we are fucked. Yeah. so mtakuwa hapa na macoins zenu mnapiga round as, as they mean shit Sandy <laughs> Africa, the African <laughs> got depressed. Na mmepatiana nini zote? Gold Sindio zote. Zani ka kwa reserves tuko na enough gold ya ku. <sighs> Siwa gatua tu ajabu sana. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Lafu pia interesting me find ni kuna ka Buddha flani kanaitwa Simon Mulo. Hmm. So Simon Mulo kalipeleka Nairobi Women's Hospital kotini. Ajua hmm. nini? Hmm. Alikuwa kana run store. Hmm. Store ya Nairobi Women's. Hmm. Ini store ya hosi. Hmm. So alikuwa na run ile store dishi inawekwa. Mm. So kuna siku head head chef ameishi hapo kuchukua kuku. Mm. But a store ina nuka. Store ina nuka. Alafu wakipata kuku. Kuku zilikuwa anasema kala alipata 100 stinking mm. rotting inedible chicken. Mm. So kamseka kafireiwa. Alafu of course kaenda kotini, mm. kotini ya Kenya in mm. 2016. Mm. Kasema kwa nini jo mimi nimefireiwa? Mm. Eh? Yeah? Alafu koti sasa 6 years later me find the atio firing ilikuwa unprocedural. <laughs> so come second of October was 200 and G40k. Kuku zikos me rot. <laughs> Afu ni hosi. Yeah. Maje kuna place nyingine zile kuku ziki rot yeah. we can negotiate and yeah. hospital. Yeah, hospital is a different thing. Yeah, alafu come second kwa kama wakuko kutoka like 2009. Mm. Na maanisha ka mjunior mm. wangu akizaliwa mm. ilikuwa kanzeni kwa kana rani hiyo store. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. Mimi pia nilikuwa huko. Mimi nilikuwa huko when? Is it 2016? I think 20, between 2015 and 16 I think I was. Pia nilikula chicken hii. Ni nilikula hiyo chicken hiyo mse. Yeah, jo. Steven yeah. Mulo, akacheki anaenda kotini. Ni kohones. 
Uh, sana kuhonesi zingine yani uh, story yake nilisikia nika yani ile uko depressed na pia unataka kucheka kwa sababu unashindwa like ah yeah. so tutafaa kufanya nini uh, alafu um, um, history nyingine pia ni story na the metaverse eh? mm. so kuna time to make mistake a few weeks ago i think ama a few episodes ago tukibonga mm. jia uh, zakabag vile meta ili lose like wafe yake mm. nakumbuka yeah. ile lose kidonga ngapi yeah. I think to contact Bongas did at 3 billion. It lose value 230 billion. What? Eh, yeah, value ya meta ile ile crash. Eh. Yeah. So uh kuna time meta ilikuwa me, ilikuwa worth of a trillion. Saizi so at time reduce iko to around just over 600 billion dollars. Wow. Eh, yeah, but sasa hii story yote ni juu ya privacy. Mm. Tunaanga vile meta walikuwa nataka hawako nataka privacy because they want to advertise to you. Mm so vile europe ili insist on that alafu apple wakaingia kwa hiyo story ya kunini ku regulate privacy so uh, nini hawezi ku track across other apps kujua like what you are looking at so that mm. they can advertise that to you mm. uh, after that najua so it crash but now mm. china wanataka ku invest in the metaverse so kuna ma chinese companies kama tencent alibaba mm. alafu bytedance bytedance ndio kina on tiktok mm. so zote zinataka ku invest na tayari mm hawa ko ready for these regulations cuz china regulations ziko mm. but unachiki vile meta ile toka from 1 trillion ikaenda chini mm. hizi za china mm. inasemekana zitaanza na value ya 8 trillion cuz china <laughs> wamezoea regulation mm. ajali yeah eh yeah. alafu sasa unajua kuna msenza kuna shindwa like metaverse ni nini yeah so uh, to key define like, the easiest way to define metaverse ni virtual worlds that people will be living and playing in mm. Yeah. So, do you want to be part of the metaverse? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. But, but idea metaverse. I don't know. To be lazy I guess. Cuz kitambo mtoi uliko na unasikia uchungu ukianguka kwa miti, ukikimbia, ukivunjika, ukifanya nini. Sasa hizi mtoi ana anasikia uchungu akikohoa. Cuz hakuna physical kitu yote ufanya nje tuko ndani. So we just get used to just being inside. Basa sasa talking to your friends. Uko umekana best yako hapa but hayuko hapa. Eh yuko eh yuko. Cuz that's the problem niko nayo na metaverse. The fact that you can live it's itakuwa place we live in. So now Uh, you live in Madare. Mm. You find yourself a good headset. Mm. Now all of a sudden in the metaverse <laughs> unaishi rundu. <laughs> rundu. <laughs> I love sasa so the metaverse maisha yako ni nzuri. Ghetto hakuna kitu inakosanga like haters and crime. Yeah. Yeah. So kwa metaverse maisha ina kunini raisha kujenga kupiga ngeta. Na sasa ngeta ni real. Yeah, bado mama metaverse kichapo ngeta you feel the unajeta bidi so he meta was una rudi back to reality haraka sana so i think kuna places le haita happen i think like don't even try like if you live in a slum yeah stay away from that shit because first of all unza kwa so engrossed that usahau your normal life your normal life uko depressed eh unacheki alafu end up kwa depressed kasi hivyo uza enjoy alafu kama unyongwe alafu unajua unzaumia vile hizo vitu mtu jiumiza Okay. Yeah. Me, me I think in the future what does it make in a way that zitakuwa na sensors unacheki vile hizi ma, ma robot za nini mm. vacuum mm. ziko na sensors once mefika karibu na ukuta inajua mm. Mm. so hizo pia in the future nafikiri what does it make evil because at the moment zile vitu watu wanafanya yeah. Eh hey, kuna msi ali, kuna dem flani alikanyaga laptop yake mazeni ni mwana huruma eh hey. yeah. hey, alikuwa hapo mazeni ana fight <laughs> akakanyaga laptop so wasi wako nje wanamshow eh hey, no no nini wana try kumtoa mm. but ah yeah hey, bado yuko engrossed na mm. kuchapa huu mse huku hivi amekanyaga <laughs> laptop imevunjika hiyo <laughs> mimi metaverse vile naijua mm. any electronic <laughs> usiku around anything wewe nda nje na yeah. nje so unaweza jema unaweza jema yeah, unaweza kasi bo tengenza ka room kako ka metaverse Kateng- yeah. na kakuweka kwa yani especially for games like easy za boxing yeah. why can't they just do the same way boxing ring iko mm. so unajua ukifika kwa kwa edge uko kwa edge so you mm. go back yeah. kuna patam sia mevuka mazia mechapa tv eh <laughs> yeah, jo ina pasuka hapo alafu ya hiyo hasara yote ji ya metaverse <laughs> Na cha tuni deal na reality ile iko hapa just size so eh so yimekuwa ni episode 76 ah tukikwambia tell a friend to tell a friend tunajua ah bado tuko on the road to 12000 subscribers na hii show ilikuwa fully sponsored na Chris Mogo 
akiwa masai za Columba Zohayo kitambo oh, tuko tunasema knock him out the box Chris knock him out Chris lakini sasa hizi tunasema tukiulizwa iko sponsor na nani tunasema ni ule Chris mwa hiyo waga zile pale za hiyo ni mtu wa nguvu sana eh na sasa tukimalizia na stories za Chris hiyo ah sasa tumalize na story jo ah Migori County mm. ah, unakumbuka kuna time moja Obado alikuwa ana chill na the deputy president mm. Alafu kamjaka fulani kalikuwa oh bado wanbe wadenyo mia mia whatever yeah so uh, ka unyiti oh bado wanbe wadenyo ndio bado pia si tuko na njaa <laughs> yeah so kamsega kwa like oh bado say oh bado kwa hapo jo dp kwa pale ndio <laughs> bado tuko na njaa jo tuonjeshe ile kitu oh, umeiba ile <laughs> tuonjeshe tu kidogo na kuka kamsega so kuna nini ashaenda huko auditor mm. anaitwa Nancy Gadhungu mm. anasema over 5 billion shillings mm. aizi account you for this is in Ngori county 5 billion huh? na some of the charge and nini like things they've spent on is do you know how much they spent on covid beds in Ngori county mm. 19.6 million shillings beds uh, shillings on beds wow alafu casual workers a casual worker in migori you expect an alipwa don't get people so tatu uh, do you know how much they spent mm. 109 million on casual workers <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> yani ra ya jo yani sisi mefika tu yani ya jali mm-hmm. tani kuiba tu ile ah yeah. eh yani hiyo migori county ona na haribu na chike mpaka sika finance minister kauko mm elgo kama fikisho kotini aka stop your job koti za kenya of course astagagi ku fight corruption msemenya mm. mi kwa reinstated Like that's that's the kind of fuckery na ina happen huko jo. Yeah. Yeah. So hiyo ni Migori. Kwa kwa masaiza Migori County jo pole cause <laughs> wa hiyo county ni iko on some other shit. And alafu uh, still tukimalizia sa Friday kuna show ina debut on uh, ni movie mm. Zaka I watch but I'm looking forward to this shit kabisa. Mm. And it was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Ngoja jo the 2022 version. Aish. Inatokea. Ah, naenda ku enjoy jo. And we well, enjoy. Yeah. Ngoja za ka uchiki horror. Ah, zi. Yeah. Movies are to be enjoyed. That's Sweet. that's the beauty of that shit. Kaka size yet niko still by the time tuna record the podcast niko katikati ya movie fulani. Mm. Inaitwa Antlers. Mm. Antlers iko HBO Max. That shit. Mm. Like eh, so far <laughs> in the tension ka hapo in enjoy like there so so na look forward to your uh, like Texas chain so massacre mm. after this the same week pia another horror mm. inaanza mm. it's a horror series ya uh, epics inaitwa from mm. pia inaanza hii weekend okay. so yeah so those are the things zile na nini well nini ni kuna kitu Hey we can see na kitiote. Arsenal na cheza. Yeah, Arsenal na cheza. Maybe if a episode of Belea comes out, kuna si Eh, hey, hey, Belea, Belea, uh, Belea. Yeah. 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 Pretty much that's it. Yeah, uh, Bado sijaendelea yeah. ile Doja, mm. sija get episode 4. Mm. So haitatoka lakini. Bado haitatoka. Yeah. So yeah. but uh, size ni kuna shughuli more about TV is not in my Eh eh. Eh sonu vletu mbio say job sahau ku subscribe kwa channels zetu. Mimi mm. nita post my first uh, video next week. Mm. Uh, cuz nishaanza kuiwakia. So yeah. like it's halfway done. Yeah. So yeah, nita post uh, next week. Next uh, week. Na bonga just to za ku import import vitu ah, to, okay, to okay. the country like if you want to import gadgets mm. uh, so like this experience ni mpitia mm. through these companies za Kenya ma companies za Kenya si ni na gonga baptism by fire jo. Yep. so kuna company moja ile ni baptized by fire kabisa <laughs> uh, waliniambia headphones zangu zilikuwa 1.8 kilograms mm. headphones 1.8 kilograms za za kwa ni dj ushaona headphones okay ka 1.8 kg kwa kichwa hata kazi kwa box 1.8 kg mm. headphones sijaiona Eh yeah, so hizo razi liniambia hivyo. Yeah. Nika try kuteta. Yeah. Kaniambia jo kuna place naitwa Kajito ambaye ndo ngoje huko. <laughs> na sasa kuna headphones zangu there's yeah. nothing I can, can do. So, so you just have to pay for them. Yeah, because yeah. now paying for your 1.8 kg I'm losing the headphones yeah. it was easier to pay for them. So oh. And this was like uh, last year uh, ama early last year. Hafu niko sure as they forget about this shit. Yeah. Motherfuckers I'm just I'm about going to, to remind, remind you. Yeah, I'm just about <laughs> to remind you because uzuri oh. oh. I have receipts. Mm. 
unajua so yeah. like nikibonga izra azile niambia wait cha na kuwekea receipt mm. yeah ah sengine so you need to interesting after mm. izra azile niambia hivi mm. ah sengine walinipatia wait nyingine mm. headphones plus ni buy am to safe do mm. ilikuwa lighter than ile headphone was <laughs> yani Kenya ya Kenya yeah. Kenya ni country ya jab sizo na vitu tutakuwa tukibonga yeah. na so, so yeah. Yeah. yangu inafakuwa up by now yeah. ile nilikuwa nimesema yes, yes. so utaicheki but from next week uh, and try to have two new like content mara mbili either monday or thursdays yeah, but yeah. i'm not going to tell you what it's about because you're like a unnecessary yeah, pressure. pressure on me yeah, so yeah. yeah i just want to have like content out so ikifika thursday na sina content nita do a live or a mix or something okay uh, okay but yeah alafu pia kabla tu saw next week tuna try kuona kama tunaweza have a guest wa nguvu yeah Uh, tubonge tu juu ya stories mm. itakuwa ati interview itakuwa tusajua yes. tuta go through stories mm. zetu zile tusha give mm. alafu yeye mwenyewe stories zake zile asha give mm. alafu try kuzi zake tuzipatia ni iko nini flavor mm. yeye yeah, apatie zetu mm. his own flavor atu yeah. pa yeah. sema ni nani yeah. so hiyo tuna hope ita happen next week so kita ku sponsor usisahau jo hiyo hiyo lakini sponsorship yake inafaa kwa ya nguvu haifai kwa ya kawaida from our tone you should be able to at least know yeah. what the fuck we are talking about it go like a show yani sinajua hiyo ina za sponsor ya watu wawili si ndio jo so reach out kwetu but kimalizia of course hii episode 76 lazima tubaki tume shout out mara ya mwisho Chris Mogo yeah. Chris Mogo pia ana hold the record of the most shows sponsored yeah. from mm. last year because after last year hakuna yeah. mtu bado amempita yeah. so ana hold the record for nini so vile susa magano came out the box Chris alafu yeye yeah, vile tunasema episode 76 ilikuwa sponsored na Chris Mogo, Mogo. akiwa masaiza oh hiyo mm. eko nene eko nene